Hey guys, and welcome to another episode of UA Eats. I'm UA, and we're back in Atlantic City. This time we're not eating at a Gordon Ramsay restaurant. This time we're at Bobby's Burgers. This chain used to be called Bobby's Burger Palace, but that's now almost entirely defunct. I think there's only like a few locations left. But he opened a new chain called Bobby's Burgers, and I actually hear it's not bad. So I'm in Atlantic City, so I figured I'd try it. We'll see if Bobby Flay really makes a good burger, or if he's just an overrated celebrity chef. Now, lots of celebrity chefs are most television personalities and actually don't have any skill or classical training in cooking but Bobby Flay actually is a classically trained chef he has experience working at some very well-regarded restaurants including Michelin star restaurants but what really put Bobby Flay on the map is his time on Iron Chef in which he was one of the most winningest Iron Chefs ever now people know him from other TV shows such as beat Bobby Flay so he's clearly great on TV and he's clearly a great battle chef but is he a good chef at opening restaurants and is Bobby Flay's burger legit or is it overrated? Now our food actually arrived not long ago. We were in line for about maybe 10 minutes. The line looks long but it moves really fast and the food came in like less than five minutes so very efficient. Anyways mask off and let me show you the food. All right guys, this is our fast food feast right in front of us. For any sort of fast food diner style food, I got a milkshake. This is a strawberry milkshake, strawberry being my favorite artificial flavor. Of course we had to get fries and we got the Bobby Flay Crunch Burger. Now let me pick this up to show you guys. I gotta say guys, this isn't the best design box. It's kind of hard to find room to reach my hand in, I guess just like that. So yeah, I mean, it looks like an ordinary cheeseburger with potato chips or potato crisps for any of my British fans. And yeah, I mean, this is an interesting idea because I actually like to do this growing up. I always like to put potato chips inside of burgers because I like that the crunch adds an interesting texture in contrast to the soft bun and the soft burger. And that is some really nice, gooey, melty, delicious yellow looking cheese. So I gotta say guys, I mean, I know celebrity chefs tend to get overhyped, but so far this looks pretty good. Let's do the milkshake first though because I don't want it to melt. By the way guys, just look at how big this straw is. Now before you think I'm just holding it up really close to the camera, just look at it compared to my pinky. <laughs> just look at how thick that straw is. All right, let's try it. Hmm. Huh. It's not a bad milkshake. I mean, it's definitely okay. I mean, it's got nice fresh strawberry flavor, which, you know, I kind of like, but to be honest, it's not one of my favorite milkshakes. Being completely honest, I actually prefer McDonald's milkshakes. I mean, the main problem with this milkshake is that it has good flavor, but it's not really thick enough. I mean, maybe me sludging it around like this isn't really gonna show, but it's a little bit too liquidy. It's kind of more like a smoothie than a milkshake. To be honest, the straw might actually be the cold it's possible that the straw is actually too thick. So because of that, you're getting more milkshake in your mouth at a time. So if they just used a normal size straw, it's possible that it wouldn't taste so thin. The milkshake's not really for me. Sorry, I know it sounds like I might be being a little bit too critical, a little bit too picky, but guys, for $8.99, I feel like you want a milkshake without too many flaws, so to say. I don't think it's too unfair to ask for a milkshake to be thicker and not smoothie-like. The Gordon Ramsay milkshake in Times Square was also expensive. I think it was also $8.99. Celebrity Chef in Times Square, overpriced. I get it, but his milkshake was actually pretty good. This one, I can't recommend. Don't get the milkshake. But next, let's try the fries. Hmm. No, the fries are good. I can't tell if these are hand cut fries or if they're good quality frozen fries. I feel like they might be frozen because they do taste a little bit crispy, like crispy in like a fast food way. And the skin on them is not really that visible. So I think these are frozen fries, but they're good frozen fries. Hmm. And even if they're frozen fries, they're nice and starchy and potatoey on the inside. And it's actually a pretty big portion. For $5.99, yeah, it's not cheap, but it's actually a little bit decent bang for your buck. All right, guys, the milkshake and the fries, they were kind of like extra items. What we're really here to judge this place on is the burger. The Bobby Flay burger with no lettuce or tomato, with melted cheese, potato chips, and special Bobby sauce on the bottom, which I can't really see. Overall, a relatively simple burger, so let's see how good it is. All right, guys, we have our burger. I think we have a perfect point of entry right here. A nice little entry for Burger D-Day on the beaches of Burger Normandy. All right, let's take him down. Whoa. Mmm. 
Well, guys, I came in here with tempered expectations. I feel like we're in this culture now where celebrity chefs are a little bit overly worshipped. If you've seen that movie, The Menu, you'll sort of know what I mean. I feel like Bobby Flay is one of those chefs, too, on shows like Beat Bobby Flay, where he's so worshipped that I feel like, how could the burger be anything but disappointing? My expectations were both high and low at the same time, if you know what I mean. I am not kidding you guys. This burger is phenomenal. This might be one of the best burgers I've had in a very, very long time. Oh, just look at that juice oozing out of it. The bun on top, it's fluffy, but it's not like it's all air. Like, as you can see, I press it and it's gonna get flatter. But even after me holding it for a while, it still has a solid cushion, if you know what I mean. Like, the bun is springy, is what I'm trying to say. The cheese, you know, I thought this was just gonna be generic melted cheddar cheese, but the cheese, it just really works. I mean, I don't know if this is some sort of mixed cheese or I don't know if it's like a really high quality one. The cheese is not like so gooey that it's like you're eating like cheese whiz and it's making the burger like messy and drippy. It's not so hard like a hard cheese where you know once it cools down it like coagulates but it's just perfectly deliciously melted. I don't know how to explain it. It's like whenever you see people eat cheeseburgers in cartoons and that cartoony cheeseburger just looks so fresh and cheesy and delicious yet also plastic at the same time. It just tastes good in like that way. I don't know how to explain it. It's like a Krabby Patty in real life. And as I said earlier the potato chip is a great touch. Everything on the burger is relatively soft. The patty is soft. The buns are soft. And that crunch just makes it seem like you're eating like a backyard burger, like a backyard barbecue burger, or just one of the burgers that you make at home. I mean, I do this all the time. Like, I'll eat burgers at home and I'll cram some chips inside. And if you're not doing that, you're missing out because it just provides a perfect crunch better than any lettuce. Mmm. Unlike most fast food burger joints, they actually ask you how you want your burger cooked, which is kind of unusual because Five Guys and Shake Shack don't do that. I asked for my burger to be medium, and that's a perfect medium. I like medium because it's nice and juicy, but it's still firm from being cooked more. And lastly, I gotta say, the burger is well seasoned. I don't think it's just salt and pepper. I think they're adding another spice as well. Mmm. Mmm. I almost take back what I said about the milkshake. I'm gonna put this down for a bit to take a break because it is rather rich, but the milkshake is actually a good change of pace for the greasy rich burger. Mm. It's a good change of pace and like a palate cleanser and it kind of makes it go down easier. Still not worth $8.99 though. Mm. We only have one delicious, pink, cheesy, juicy bite left. And actually, it's not just me today. My friend Ben is here. Let's pan to him for an unbiased opinion. So Ben, what do you think? Did you like the burger? Yes. I thought it was really good. A lot of the time at a fast food place or a fast casual place, you worry that it's going to be really salty. It wasn't too salty. And like you mentioned, it was seasoned with a lot more than just salt and pepper. And you could see it was seasoned on all sides and the seasoning was pressed right into the meat, like they put it in the, the grill and pressed it in hard. So the seasoning really encrusted the entire patty and tasted delicious. And I don't know about you, but whenever I'm at a fast casual place and I order a burger medium, I always worry they'll kind of underdo it and you'll get sick later, but it was a perfect medium, really juicy, really fresh, tasted delicious. My only real criticism, you mentioned the fries tasted like they were kind of frozen. I would agree, for me, they were a little mushy, but the burger itself, really tasty. I was very happy with it. All right. Well, thanks for sharing your opinion, Ben. Anyways, guys, I think that's going to be it for this video. Thanks so much for watching. We just happened to be in Atlantic City this weekend and we wanted to try this place and we figured we might as well film it if we're going to try it. I think we both came in with tempered expectations, but it was good. At least for me, it exceeded my expectations. And yeah, I got to say, guys, Bobby Flay, say what you will about him as a TV chef, but his burger, I got to say, he knocked it out of the park. Anyways, guys, once again, thank you so much for watching. If you like my videos, make sure you like and subscribe. That way you stay up to date whenever I post another video. Until next time, I'll see you later.